Okay, good evening. Welcome to you. Uh, math 542. Math 542. So you have a, a homework problem from your idea math class that's really cool. Um, so you take the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and you're trying to make seven digit numbers. Okay. And the rule on the seven digit numbers is no two consecutive digits can have a common divisor other than one. Okay, so they have to be relatively prime. So this is an example of a number that works. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one million two hundred thirty-four thousand five hundred sixty-seven works. Yep. Because the consecutive digits don't have any common divisors other than one. Yeah. But can you give me a number that wouldn't work? One, two, four, three, five, six, seven. Very good, because two and four are consecutive digits and they share a common divisor. Um, are you, and the question is, how many numbers are there like this? So using the digits one through seven, you form exactly once each, form a seven digit number. No two consecutive digits have common divisors. And you came up with a nice solution um, where you, what, 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 what was the formulation of your solution actually? Well, I'm not going to be able to explain it well. Let me write down the digit positions first. So one, two, five, six, seven. Okay, so what did you say in your solution? So I realized that the even numbers have to have at least one odd number between them. Okay. And then I looked at the positions where the even number <coughs> can go. The even numbers can go. Okay, so for example, an even number might go here, here, and here. So that would work. Yeah. And All it right. turns out that there's 10 of those positions. Okay. And for each of those positions, there's, you can move the odd numbers around in order to make some number of cases using the even numbers being here. Okay. So that's clever. And what, what, what's, there's one tricky part. Um, there's one case that's different from all the other cases. Oh, okay. Or there's just one, yeah, there's one case that's... A little different. Oh yeah, so I meant I meant you've got the six somewhere here. Yeah. And you have to keep the three away from the six. That, that, that that's was, not that hard. That's the tricky part, I thought. Okay, well anyway, so that was a clever solution. But because we're studying inclusion exclusion now, um, we happen to see online a similar problem solved by inclusion exclusion. Okay. So we're gonna walk through the similar problem was the digits up to six, so it's really quite similar. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna walk through this problem. So I'm going to ask you for a little help, okay. seeing what you understand here. But this is this is is a little more challenging than most problems we normally do. But your brother's seen that solution, so we're just going to try to walk through it and remember how it worked. All right? Okay. All right. All right so here we go. Okay. 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 Okay.